What's up guys, my name is Cheryl Pliskin, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the RE4 HD project on the Steam Deck slash SteamOS. There's not many tutorials for this, so I thought I'd make my own. To make things easier for us, we're going to be doing this in desktop mode with a USB mouse and keyboard. However, this is doable in desktop mode and just using the Steam Deck's trackpads. So whether or not you're thinking about purchasing a Steam Deck or you're on SteamOS, hopefully you find this guide helpful. Let's get started. First, make sure you have a designated folder in your Downloads tab to store all of your files, and make sure you name it something like RE4 HD Project so it's easier to find later. Then, download the necessary files which I will link in the description below. Next, unpack the installer.rar and enter the password RE4 HD Project as shown on screen. Next, add the installer as a non-Steam game. Then find the app in your Steam library, click Manage, Properties, Compatibility, then click Force the Use of a Specific Steam Play Compatibility Tool. Then select the latest version of Proton, which for me is 9.0-4, but if you're watching this in the future, then just use whatever the latest version is. Before we start the installer, make sure that not only your copy of RE4 is legit and not pirated, but also make sure it is installed on your microSD card if you're on Steam Deck. This makes it easier to find. Once you've done that, hit play. Hit next. I accept the agreement. Next. Next. Then you're going to hit browse and then locate where your game is installed. For me, my micro SD card is labeled as my D drive, so make sure you know what yours is. Once you get that done, hit next and make sure the first checkbox is marked. Then hit next and install. Now sit back and relax while it downloads. This is going to take a while. Keep in mind that this is a 30 gigabyte mod, so you're going to be here a while. Once it's done, you can go ahead and remove the installer from your Steam library and delete the folder where you placed the mod files. Before you launch the game, go into its properties and enter this command in the launch options. I'll put it in the description so it's easier to find. Now the first launch is going to take a bit because it is processing all of the files you've just installed, so just give it a minute to get everything ready. Again, it is 30 gigabytes. Now because I already had RE4 tweaks installed, I didn't get a pop-up. But if you get one that says you need to apply a 4 gigabyte patch, just hit yes. If you see a different splash screen and it says 2022 at the bottom of the screen, that means you've done it. Make sure that the brightness is cranked up all the way so that you can get the best out of the visuals. I also recommend tweaking some of the in-game video settings so that's better optimized for battery life. A couple more things I want to note. In RE4 tweaks, go to your display settings and find Remove 16x10 Black Bars. This makes sure that when you're playing in handheld mode, parts of your screen don't get cut off. Lastly, another tip for Steam Deck users, you can either make your own controller layout or apply the one I created named Layout for RE4 Tweaks. It just binds the back buttons and trackpads to make navigating it a bit easier. That's going to be the end of this video, so thank you so much for watching. If you found it helpful, let me know in the comments down below, and let me know what you think of the mod. Also, huge thanks to Albert and Chris for making this mod, because oh my god, it is probably the best mod for any video game, like, ever. I'll leave a link in the description to the website so you can check out the other stuff. I highly recommend showing them support on Twitter or whatever social media you use. Anyways, thanks for watching and have a good one.